Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. It is day two of taking the Supermoto apart. Now I'm really excited. We have actually gone so far, so we managed to get the rocker covers off. We actually managed to also remove the bottom sump and the secondary sump to find the issue of the sixth bearing that had been spun. So today I am here again at Motortech, Yem Motortech, um, and I am here with both Derek and Chan. I just wanted to introduce Derek as he is going to be doing majority of the work on the engine and then he's going to be able to give you guys his professional opinion about things and his experience. I'm Derek um, and this is Yem Motortech. We're located in Noble Park. Um, me and my dad have owned this business for a long time. My dad's been in the industry for 35 years. I've been in the industry for about seven. Uh, today we're rebuilding AJ's 2JZ motor. Um, this one looks like it was rebuilt probably 10,000 Ks ago, um, but it looks like due to probably lack of oil or good oil, um, the conrod bearing, or big end bearing spun out. So we're shipping this engine apart and rebuilding it from scratch. Hey guys, so we found the actual cause of the issue. Now, as um, as Chan and Derek were taking apart the motor, we actually found out that the front oil seal wasn't even on properly, so it would have been spewing out oil. And what happens is when the when the motor isn't lubricated properly, then uh, then all the metal starts rubbing with each other. And so that's what's happened here. Um, so it was only rebuilt 10,000 Ks ago, but I'm not gonna say who rebuilt it, but if you know who you are, you did a really shit job. Last night we did have some implications finding the right socket for the ARP head studs. They do require an unusual half inch imperial. Now we weren't expecting it just because a lot of the super motors do require that metric, uh, but we had to find a deep socket that was half inch and a 3 8 drive, which was really complicated. And the galleries were so tight that we actually had to machine and, and lave down it, uh, the socket, so it would fit in. Now, I just wanted to give a massive shout out to my girlfriend who did ask her friend to get this socket, uh, which did really help uh, move the processes forward, as I do have to get it out of somewhere in Melbourne to replace it. Um, so that is awesome in that aspect. I'm not sure if you can see that but uh, it appears that a foreign object has hit the piston and uh, it has been damaged, which means I will be up for a new piston. Um, I guess uh, that's what it is, so yeah, have a look at that. We are at HM Engines, so apparently these guys are gonna be doing our regrinds for us. Um, this is what Derek has recommended. G'day there, I'm Darbor, um, I'm HM Gem Machining Services. Uh, we're Australia's leading uh, engine remanufacturer and um, uh, also uh, engine machining services. Uh, we've got branches throughout Australia. Uh, we do anything from a small petrol engine uh, to a, a big uh, K50 Cummins engine. Um, so yeah, we, we cover uh, everything across the board. Uh, yeah, good to see you boys in here and um, we've got to do the job uh, for you for the crankshaft and we'll, we'll get that back to you, no probs. Cheers. I just get, got recent news back that the crank shaft didn't make it through the test. Uh, however, there is some good news uh, in this, uh, more towards the fact that I found out that you can actually use the stock 2JZ crank, uh, and it's the exact same as a turbo crank. So that was something that I found out that was quite lucky. Um, I did some calling around, and the crank shaft is only gonna cost me $300, so I was very lucky in that aspect. Um, so this, so all in all, this brings today's video to a conclusion. Uh, if you guys enjoyed what you saw, make sure you do hit that like and subscribe. As mentioned, as always, I'm trying to make you guys some awesome content, so every subscriber does go a long way. Peace out, fam. Thanks.